So we're out here on course at Old American and we're doing a drill called Escape Artist, where we're putting ourselves in less than desirable situations on the golf course and trying to figure out how can I advance this ball, uh, limiting the damage and giving myself the best chance to make par and sometimes even bogey. So we're here on a par five where I've driven my ball behind this tree and there's a lot of obstacles in my way. I've got a bunker uh, about 100 yards out. I've got another bunker at about 200 yards out and, out and I have this tree with a bunch of overhanging limbs, but they're at different levels. Like on the left, it's a little bit lower, and on the right, it's a little higher. Um, and what I'm trying to figure out is, how can I advance this ball over those bunkers? For sure, I've gotta carry those bunkers because if I don't, I'm gonna have a very difficult third shot on this par five. So I have in my hand six and seven iron. When I'm looking at what shot can I pull off, the first part I have to look at is, what is my lie gonna allow me to do? This lie is no problem. This is just wispy grass where I'm gonna be able to get a lot of the club on the ball. The second thing I'm looking at is my, kind of my um, windows the ball is gonna be flying through. If I go straight, I think I'm gonna hit these trees in my way, but I can go out to the right and hit a draw and have a much better chance of hitting this six or seven iron and having a little bit of loft to be able to get it to turn over right to left. The other thing that you can't see on video is we have a south wind today and that's wind off the right. So if I hit this shot to the right, it should draw back to the left even if I hit a straight shot. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go with a six iron just to make sure I beat the tree. And one thing that's unique to me is I like to play these shots with a little bit of a slightly closed club face. And what that does is it creates the likelihood that the ball is gonna curve more left. I'm not gonna do much from a setup standpoint other than choke up and put the ball back. Again, I'm not trying to hit this really far. I'm just trying to get it back in play. So I'm gonna start it to the right. This should definitely carry the bunker and stay short of the other bunkers and really just hit my shot. So I'm in a different situation here where I've hit my second shot in this clump of trees, I'm about 190 yards to the green. And I really have two options. One, I can try to hit the ball on the green from this shot. The problem with that is it's a risky play. It's not for sure gonna work out. There's bunkers around the green. And if I don't pull it off, I'm likely gonna have a pretty difficult up and down. The other play is just to chip out to the left, try to wedge it on and have my chance at par. But I'm not gonna leave with worse than bogey in most cases. So whenever you're deciding what shot selection should be, you have to play out the ifs. What if it doesn't turn out exactly how I want and assess if it's worth it. Uh, for me, with the skill level that I have, I think I can pull it off. Um, but if there's any doubt in my mind, I'm not gonna hit the shot. So in this situation, I'm gonna be taking six or seven iron and trying to hit it just short of the green and have it roll up. I think I can pull that off. We're a little bit downwind, the ground is firm, so it shouldn't be that difficult to pull off. 